passed off and got an M1, but I think the stuff that we can control is, you know, working on our boxing now when we knew they were a good offensive rebounding team and uh, they lived up to the billing tonight for that. And then offensively, it's just, uh, it seems like sometimes we, we have bad spacing or bad flow where we should make an extra pass, we don't, or we should have contested shot when when we someone cuts into the, the guy who's dribbling and get the turnover. It's just, that's something we got to work the Kings out in. But now in, what, I think, 15 games now, so overall it should be it should start getting better slowly. But while that happens, you know, catching these close losses, and it's a little frustrating, and you want to start showing, you know, you want to start making improvements so these young guys see what they have to do and can work for them. Every young team has to go through these phases. We talked about the spacing. Is that one of the big, bigger reasons for a night like tonight with the 20 turnovers? <coughs> And that's what the coach cited as kind of the biggest reason. For yeah, I, I think that overall, I mean, they switch a lot of pick and rolls. That's not a great defensive team. You've asked them that. Um, John does pressure, but overall, I just think that we've struggled offensively in teams that switch pick and rolls, where we get stagnant, we see it, we try to go one on one, um, when to make the right play, and sometimes. You know, we need to make an extra pass instead of a quicker shot. And, and that's something that we'll just learn. And, you know, I always go by percentages and assists when you look at different stuff. And we did have 22 assists, but you have 19 turnovers that basically negates everything. So uh, you look at the film, that's something that as a young team we, get, we have to do. Look at film, get better. But, you know, hopefully in Orlando we get a win before we go back home for Thanksgiving. Is there still a lot of miscommunication out there? Or is it just sloppy on no, I would just say, you know, when you play fast, sometimes speeds you up and sometimes you, uh, unforced turnovers. We, we want to speed the game up so we can get a lot more shots, a lot more stuff. And, we, and we're go our guards are so talented, we trust them to, you know, to make the plays for us at the speed of the game. And sometimes people get tired, sometimes we rush when we're out there. Um, and that's something that we have to you know, work through. I mean, first night, tonight we go with three guards. So overall, that's a different dynamic that we've done before. That's the first time they've played like that. So that is different and I'm out there with PJ sometimes, you know, who's the four, who's the five. So it's something we're working on kinks, but at the end of the day it's not that hard. You, you see who's in your area and you get to the three point line and space out and let these guards do their thing. And and with our guards we, we expect them to do a lot because they're so talented. We expect them to score, get assists and get into the ball and sometimes that's difficult to do for forty eight minutes. You got a clean look there late uh -huh. in the corner. Did it have that feel? Yeah, overall, off I mean, it, it felt good at first, but overall, I, I didn't have good rhythm shooting the ball early in the game. I don't know if, I think overall, when I hurt my knee on that one play, just kind of mentally, I, you know, I thought something bad had happened, even though I started walking off, and then I banged knees with uh, Marquise. But overall, those are shots I usually make. Um, I had a good look, and I think it would have tied the game. Um, but, you know, you, you always want to play well against your former teams, and I wish we would have got the win, but any time you, you lose in the way we lost, I thought we. You know, I tip the ball out, book hit the three, he gets the ball out of bounds, we tie it up, we're up two, and then the jump no. sequence. So it's a, it's a little, you know, it hurt. It's, this one stings a little bit. What, what was that experience like? Come, I know you're only here a year, but. I had a great time when I was here. Yeah, you know, obviously the fans, obviously, it, it was a lot of fans out there today. They cheered for you, yeah, you no, cheered. Definitely. I mean, I think they respect what I did out here. I mean, I played the right way, but. Overall, I mean, I think Ernie for letting me come in during my back injury. A lot, a lot of genes were done that, and I think that I held my end of the bargain up. But um, my team, my family loved DC for me over here. Beal, 42 points, career high. What was it like seeing him tonight? Yeah, he, he had the groove, and we did a bad job of, you know, of making an adjustment to try to, you know, change up a little bit. We tried to at the end. He was he had, he, he had it going, and their teammates knew he had it going. They fed him, so. I mean, he's, he's always been one of the top scorers, the two-guard position, and, uh, you know, hopefully you know, we can get him next time. All right, cool. Thanks, Jared.